Okay, ooh. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Hey guys, how are we doing? Today I'm going to be doing some experiments and partly because, you know, it's going to be really good learning experience for me. But also, I want to show you guys that gardening doesn't have to be expensive and you don't have to buy a ton of expensive seeds. You might already have the seeds in your pantry cupboards. You might. So today, I know it's late in the season, but we can still get away with doing a few bush beans, right? So I'm going to give them a crack. We're not going to do many, we're going to do four different varieties, and I'm only going to do four plants of each. Oy. Because they're going to be able to go in containers, because they're bush beans and not climbers, right? So what we're going to do is I'm going to first try some black beans. We've got um, plenty in there to do our own. I've also got a few chickpeas, we're going to use those. Um, or garbanzo beans, whatever you want to call them. Black eyed beans, got some of them, we're going to use some of those. And I've also got some organic GMO free. Take that for expensive. Right, soybeans because, you know, why not? Okay, so these, um, they are organic, they are GMO free, apparently. But they're also from China, so I'm not saying it's a bad thing, it could just be a thing. Who knows, it's really hard to get organic and GMO free soybeans these days. They seem to be all GMO, but I'm hoping that these ones are going to be okay. Um, but we're going to give them a crack at growing them anyway. That way, at the very least, if they work, we get some fresh edamame. Right? That can't be a bad thing. I use soybeans a lot because I, I make my own soy milk, I make my own um, uh, tofu. I, may, I would like to get into making tempeh, I haven't made it for a very long time. I've just got to get hold of the fungus. Um, and yeah, it's, they're a really good source. So we're going to give them a crack, see if we can grow them from seed. That's really cool. I've also got to put in some more pistachios. We're going to try those in a different way this time. The other thing I'm going to be doing today is, um, for those of you who haven't seen, I did a nectarine and flat peach tart. Now I've kept the stones from them. And I want to, ew, they're starting to go a bit mank, <laughs> the seeds on the outside. But that's a natural process. And if you know anything about the way trees grow, they they drop. The seed is in the fruit, the fruit drops to the ground, it rots, gets really warm. Then it gets really cold over winter, stratifies, and then it pops out. So what I've done is I've actually left some of the fruit on that seed. And I'm going to put that into a mix from the boxes where I put my kitchen slurry mix into because that's going to have the nutrients of rotted actual plant fermented stuff in it. And I'm going to grow those in those. I'm not expecting anything to happen until next spring. I'm hoping that they will pop their own shells because that's what I want. I don't want to actually cut the shell open myself, I'm going to leave them to do what they do naturally because I believe you get a better tree out of it. So, we're going to give those a crack. Um, yeah, and that's pretty much it, I think. I might... Um... No, it's alright, I'll leave that for another time, but right now i got to find some dirt. So I'm going to start off with my black beans. Just want a couple. I'm just going to pop one in each little module. Actually, I only want one in each module because it's an experiment at the end of the day. Not, you know, 
going overboard. Well, we're trying not to. <laughs> okay, so that's those. Some little black eyed beans. Two, three, four. Ooh. And then we're going to get our chickpeas. soybeans. Right, now I am going to do a few more of the soybeans because I would like to have some fresh. They're quite expensive to buy fresh over here so um, I'd rather grow a few and have a few bags I can put in the freezer. Let's cover these babies up, give them a bit of a water later on and we'll see what happens. I suppose I better label them too so I don't forget what's in here. Because <laughs> it'll happen, you watch, I'll be like, I don't know. <laughs> what's in there, I don't know. Food. <laughs> Future dinners. <laughs> That's what's in there. Future dinner. Right. <laughs> okay. Fabulous. Right, let's get some labels on these. So we've got our. I don't have lavender in there anymore. Oh, I'm going to have to. The second hand ones that I wrote on with a sharpie and that was probably a really bad idea. Okay. Right. Black beans. And there. And then we've got black eyed beans. And then we've got soybeans. So that we know that all of those three are soybeans. Right. Done. Sorted. Let's wait and see what happens. Okay. So we're going to give these a shot now. The nectarine and peach pits. Wow. Right, so that's a flat peach. We're just gonna pop it in there. Got another flat peach that can go in there. And that one there that can go in there. Nectarine. 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 There we go. Right. A little bit of 
stuff over the top. We're going to leave, like I said, we're going to leave them be to do their thing the way that nature intended. They will be kept out here so that they can get natural um, weather because that's going to make them hardier and better right from the beginning. So, you know, they survive the winter and we get sprouts in spring. We're all going to be pretty pleased about that, I reckon. So, there we go. All oh, done. Ta da! Nectarines and peaches. Doo doo! Right, let's get these labelled up as well, eh? Get them done. Okie okay. so our next job is to do these pistachios. Now if you guys watched the first pistachio video, you will know that I just bought a little pack of raw organic pistachios. So I'm going to try and put, and this actual seed tray we got with the beans. So, I like to recycle these things. I'm gonna try a few more. We do have a few, as you know if you've watched, that we I repotted. Um, I want to have a few more. So let's see how we go with those. I don't think it's going to hurt to have a few extras just quietly and you can't have a nut farm if all you've got is one nut well you can because from that one nut you can get 50 gazillion if you look after it right over a few years and to me trees are definitely an investment in our future, not only our food future, but our actual future. So, you know. <sighs> Sorry about that. A lot of fellas around here with no penis. Sorry, did I say that out loud? Oh, damn. Damn it. Oops. Sorry. gonna be aces. We're gonna love that. All right. That's a bit chunky for that I think. Okay. I'm just using normal cheap compost that we've had sitting in the com it, we've actually found it in the shed. <laughs> so it's been here since last year. The cheaper composts we found, if you leave them for a year, bagged composts, they're actually a lot better the year after because they've had that year to, you know, settle and do its thing, so. Pistachios. There we go. Ta da! Hi. You know, you could stand up on the job. There we are. Ta-da! Right. That's all our experimenting done for the day. Now I've got to get on to the other jobs. 